Hey everybody and welcome back to our review of Piatic Automorphisms on Shimura Varieties. We were discussing the Galois representations Oh wait, sorry, wrong, wrong class. Right, uh, measure theory, okay. So last time we proved that the Borel sets are contained in the measurable sets, which are contained in 2 to the R. This is you know, all the subsets of the real line. So here's 2 to the R, contained in 2 to the R are the measurable sets, and inside of that are the Borel sets. Now we know there's stuff out here, you know, there are Vitali sets that aren't measurable, but we haven't proven yet that there's stuff over here, that there are measurable sets that aren't Borel, and to prove that we're just going to rely on two different facts, which I won't prove here, but extend pretty easily from what we've done so far. So first of all there's Vitali's theorem, and that says that if I have a set E with positive outer measure, then there exists a subset of that, call it S, contained in E, which is not measurable. And the second fact is that if I have a Borel set, and I have a homeomorphism F, so this is fact number one, if I have a homeomorphism F, then F of my Borel set is also going to be Borel. And this is pretty easy to, easy to see, because suppose I have a G delta set. Well, G-delta set is just the intersection of open sets. Well, then I map that by F, and I get the intersection of F of these open sets. But because a homeomorphism is an open mapping, these are going to be open too. So we get another G-delta set. And since you can remove the intersections and unions from the inside of the function, and since the function is an open mapping, then this holds for any sort of Borel set you can work with. So a homeomorphism will send Borel sets to Borel sets. That being said, uh, let's outline the problem we have here. We want to find a set that is going to be measurable, but not Borel. And this looks impossible. I mean, we have no easy way of telling that a set is measurable, and I don't know any way of showing that a set isn't Borel. So. In order to continue, we're going to have to choose the easiest and simplest examples. So the easiest and simplest example of a measurable set is a set of outer measure 0. And what's the easiest example of a non-Borel set? Well, as we showed earlier, the, non the Borel sets are contained in the measurable sets. So the easiest non-Borel set is a non-measurable set. However, we want our set to be measurable. So let's specify that it's homeomorphic. to a non-measurable set. Well, this gives us two problems. First of all, every non-measurable set is uncountable. So if I have an, a non-Borel set E, the set I'm working with, if it's homeomorphic to a non-measurable set, it's also got to be uncountable. But we also want it to be measure 0. So we need to find a set that has measure 0 plus uncountable. Second of all, we need a homeomorphism. I'm going to uh, write it out. Homeomorphism F from this set of measure 0 to a set of positive measure. But we have these two things already, because a set of measure 0 are uncountable, that's the Cantor set. And a homeomorphism on the Cantor set, sending it to a set of positive measure, that's just the psi function we defined earlier, which was the cantor lebesgue function plus x divided by 2. So with these in hand, we can finally find our counterexample. Take Cantor set, and using psi, map it to a set of positive outer measure. By Vitali's theorem, there exists a subset E contained in this image of the Cantor set, which is not measurable, and therefore not Borel. Now look at psi inverse of E. Since E is not Borel, and psi and psi inverse are homeomorphisms, this is also not Borel. But psi inverse of E is a subset of the Cantor set. And by monotonicity of measure, the outer measure of psi inverse of E is 
is zero, which implies that psi inverse of E is measurable. And that's our counterexample.